Huge. And, uh, and look, Nat Fife would have played last week if the game was on Sunday. Um, he, he only needed was another day, another two days mate. break. Yeah, and, uh, you know, and the rest of them, they took the safe approach and didn't it pay off beautifully. But uh, Sandlands, as you said, massive out, especially against a, uh, a ruck combination of, uh, of Cruiser and Hampson that are flying. Carlton uh, decimated by injury in Armfield. Look, Thornton it's... Walker, great to see him back in the side just all. But Brock McLean is dropped, not injured. Chris Yaron with that toe issue. Carazzo with Layla with a knee and out of the side. Big test for the Carlton Footy Club. It Duck. is a big test over there. Um, they were disappointing last week, but uh, big in uh, Thornton back in that side. Yeah, look, they're uh, they're a quality outfit, but they will be tested. Even though Sandy Lands is out, they will be tested this week over there. That, that shows their depth. The, their ins are fantastic there. Yeah. You mentioned Walker and Thornton, but did Armfield will do a job on somebody over there. Russell had a, a breakout year last year, and, and young Joseph goes right mm. too. So their depth is. is cruising. That was one of the good things about Collingwood when they won a flag. When they'd lost players with injury, yep. they could replace them like that. And with guys who'd played 20 games, 30 games. And that's what Carlton's doing. Well, this next man, boys, he will be right amongst the action. He's joined us from Western Australia. I love watching this man. Thanks for joining us on the Game Plan. Hayden Ballantyne. Thanks for having me, guys. Mate, wonderful to have you on the show. Love watching you play football. This is a huge game of footy versus the Carlton Footy Club. Firstly, Aaron Sandlands, what is his situation, mate? Why is he out of the side? I uh, just pulled up with a bit of tightness in, in the... I'm not sure exactly, but, uh, yeah, he's a massive... He's such a dominant player. But uh, big John Griffin's going to come in for us and he'll do a job for us. Aidan, I, uh, I spoke before about the fact that normally last week you got last quarter, but you're able to uh, get headed and then come back and win that Eddie Head Stadium. Is that what Ross Lyons brought to this club, a more defensive attitude and, um, you know, probably uh, the will to win? Yeah, definitely the will to win. Just that, just he he brings across a theory of just giving great effort. If we give great effort every week, you know, special things can happen, and we showed that on on uh, last Friday night with a, a a big win for our club on a Friday night. I I can't help but think that a, a lower leg injury. To Darren Sanderlands would be pretty much equivalent to you having a full body cramp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's a big lower. Leg. He's, uh, he's a massive man. I actually kiss to him because his elbows are at the same height as my head. So I'll cop a uh, elbow on the head if I'm next to him. Hey mate, just just run us through the uh, you know the, the Fremantle crowd. I, I've never witnessed a, I reckon a crowd of that number, about forty thousand, make that much noise. They they're a, they're an extra player for you guys without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, definitely. They're, they're a very passionate fan base, the Purple Army, and uh, you know when you kick a goal or something something special happens out in the field. They make plenty of us, and uh, you know, it's, it's just great to be out on Subi Oval playing with them uh, behind us. Now, Hayden, you've been in the news. There's no doubt about that. Involved with the Geelong Footy Club, someone wrote over here that uh, your performance won the game for your footy club. Just the way you got involved, the way you played, a bit of niggle. This whole niggle situation, as I said, we love watching you play footy. How are you dealing with all the extra press? Because there's been a on you the last few weeks. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of press, most of it negative, obviously, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm out there to win it. Well, I'm not out there to make friends. I'll, I'll go out there to do my bit for the team, and uh, I'll do whatever it takes. Um, I consider myself uh, a very competitive person, and, uh, like I said, I, I, my, I'm my honest. I care about what the captain and coach thinks, and uh, apart from that, nothing much fazes me. But I, I do want to ask you, though, since, uh, since that particular game, have you noticed any more um, pressure or, or talk from the opposition teams? Uh, not particularly, you know, all opposition teams have plenty of talk and, you know, we give a bit back, but, you know, you know, things are set out in the field, they stay out in the field and that's how it is, not much has changed. Perfect, not a bad answer there, mate. Tell me about Jack Anthony, his first half, uh, uh, well, it was down, he was, it was, it was ordinary, <laughs> but his second half was fantastic uh, and he, you know, he really kicked goals when you needed him to kick goals. Yeah, Jax, he's, he's, he's one of those blokes where if he, if he gets a sniff and he gets the ball somewhere near the goals, you pretty much back him in to kick the goal every time. He's, he's, his accuracy is amazing, so if we can get him taking some more clunks near goal, he could, could kick a lot of goals for us, hopefully. Just Hayden, as we let you go, uh, you're a feisty little character on the field. Growing up, who was your uh, favourite player? Who was your hero? In the uh, yeah, geez, there's a lot. Uh, you stumped me there. I used to love watching Benny Cousins, uh, Chris Judd, blokes running around. Um, and with anyone with a bit of feist, I suppose, that was, uh, it was always good to watch. We appreciate you joining us on the show. As I said, was here. Love watching you play footy Friday night against the Carlton Footy. Thanks, guys. Spoke.